Israeli forces may have repeatedly violated the laws of war and failed to distinguish between civilians and fighters in the Gaza conflict, according to the UN Human Rights Office on Wednesday. Separately, the head of a UN inquiry accused the Israeli military of carrying out the extermination of Palestinians. The UN Rights Office, or OHCHR, issued a report examining six Israeli attacks that caused many casualties and destroyed civilian infrastructure. This was its spokesperson, Jeremy Lawrence. It notes that unlawful targeting, when committed as part of a widespread or systematic attack against a civilian population, in line with the state or organisational policy, may also implicate the commission of crimes against humanity. Israel's permanent mission to the United Nations in Geneva characterised the analysis as factually, legally and methodologically flawed. It said the OHCHR had, at best, a partial factual picture. Lawrence said the attacks examined occurred before December, but were part of a continued pattern, though it was getting harder to assess the situation on the ground as the war went on. In a separate meeting of the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva, the head of a UN Commission of Inquiry, Navi Pillay, said perpetrators of abuses in the conflict must be brought to account. She repeated findings from a report published last week that both Hamas militants and Israel have committed war crimes. But she said Israel alone was responsible for the most serious abuses under international law known as crimes against humanity. We conclude that Israeli authorities are responsible for war crimes, crimes against humanity and violations of international humanitarian and human rights law, including extermination, intentionally directing attacks against civilians and civilian objects, murder or willful killing, using starvation as a method of war, forcible transfer, gender persecution targeting Palestinian men and boys, sexual and gender-based violence amounting to torture, and cruel or inhuman treatment. Israel, which does not cooperate with the inquiry and alleges an anti-Israel bias, chose the mother of a hostage held by Hamas to speak on its behalf at the meeting. The international community must not allow political consideration to override our core human values. And it criticised the report on the grounds that it did not give due attention to the hostages taken by Hamas in its attack on southern Israel on October 7th. Pessoa.